Quincy, you know the other thing that I think is so unique about you coming to Xavier, and you made your own decision, and in particular with your mom's guidance and help. Thank, thank God for us. <laughs> uh, but Scott Perra, your former coach, coach at Rice, I know Coach Perra uh, and have known him for a number of years. I, call, I would consider him a friend, certainly a, a really good coaching friend, respect and know him well. And the dialogue when, you know, you decided to leave, that's a tough situation, right? And how he almost became helpful to you and how you've continued to maintain such a good relationship with him. I think it says the world about him and you. And also just, I think it's unique that we're almost all in this together, you know? Yes, and, and as a coach, when you can help a young person grow, that's what this is about for us. So talk about your your relationship with, with Coach, both then and now, and even in the recruiting process, how he was like one of your, your advisors. Yes, sir. I mean, Coach Para, I consider him not like, a, like another father figure, you know, like Obviously, I have my dad that I go to, but like Coach P, he's been there for me through some of my darkest moments when I played for him. He's shown me a lot of love, and he's also disciplined me and guided me in the right direction when times looked like I was struggling, and I really do thank him for that. When I was at Rice, you know, he, whether it was off the court, on the court, he taught me so much, helped me, be, helped me grow into a man. And then when I kind of told him I think I, I want to transfer – it was, it was tough for him at first. I mean, I'm not going to lie. When I sat in that office and told him that I was going to do it, like, we both kind of shed a tear. Like, he he definitely, he was just like, you know, I thought it might come to this, but, you know, he, he understood that I wanted mm -hmm. to do, I thought that was best for me, and he said he would be in my corner. And he told me, he reassured me, if I have any questions about any coach, any school that calls, just ask him. You know, I, he knows more about them than I do, and he'll be 100% honest with me. And so... When Coach Cohen reached out and Xavier, just the whole staff started becoming more interested in me and I talked to him, eventually it was, he, you could tell that through all the other 40 schools that were contacting me that that seemed like the right place for me. He knew you all, he trusted you all. And he actually was a part of my commitment, you know, when I surprised <laughs> you that Monday that Davion committed, I, I called you off of his phone and I did it in his office, you know, and. He 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 still keeps up with me. He contacts yeah. me. He contacted me. He texted me after the first or before the the night before the first game, and he just said, you know, it hit me again that you won't be suiting up for me this year. And he got a little emotional, <laughs> and that that just kind of like, like I kind of got a little emotional too, just like because I really I tell him a lot, like I miss you, just because like you like I love you, you know, right. like you really are one of one of somebody that I care about bigger yeah. than basketball. And he texts me like even after the Delaware game just like some more leadership points to help become a better leader and stuff like that. He, when I went to Houston for Christmas, we connected, I went up to the school and we talked for a little bit and you know, it, it was good because coach pair, I wouldn't be here at Xavier. I wouldn't be the basketball player. I am if it wasn't for some of yeah. the moments that we shared together as a, as a coach and a player. Yeah, no, it's, it's incredible to hear you talk like that because again, the perception of when a player leaves one school and goes to the next is that, boy, everybody must be angry at him and he must sometimes be angry at the place and he's leaving because he didn't like something. And oftentimes, especially in the new world, that's not the case. It's, it's leaving one place to, to maybe reach your goals and dreams and, uh, and that both people and places will be, will be fine moving forward. And I think that's what's great about, about your story.